Hey, we back. I'm here on Discord. Today we are talking about disabled lists. Well, anti-disabled lists, uh, but perhaps not in the way that you would expect. Um, now, there's a, a little helpful thing that you can do in the day that a lot of people do, um, and I, I suggest that you do as well, um, which is making a like list. Um, this may not seem related, but uh, we'll get there, all right? Uh, like lists are, are very important. Um, see my like list here um, it's not ordered well the first couple of pages are actually um, I ordered them because of a bug with uh, soul lists um, but I'll explain that in a minute um, yeah so I've got my like list here it's it's not huge but you know it's got a fair few characters in it um, and this is pretty helpful in, in finding out you know like things like what to wish for and what to trade for and stuff like that um, because I can do things like this I can see who owns what. Now, I managed to own a lot of things at the top of my like list on here because this server has been going a long time and I've done a lot of trading. Um, but obviously not everything. If I do O minus, then we can see what I do not own. Um, and there's plenty of that as well, um, including a couple of high ranks, although most of these have been going down recently, but that's another matter. Um, and uh, that's pretty helpful uh, in knowing what to trade for. Uh, you can also do uh, like this new. Uh, now we know what to wish for as well. Um, like all in all, it's pretty good. Um, and if you order it, then you know uh, when this shows up that this is the best thing. This is pretty helpful for trading because let's say uh, Orin Master here claims one of my wishes. If I just look through his harem, then I might, you know, not discover any of these straight away. Or I might discover one of these lower ones and say, oh yeah, I'll trade for that. And I've just missed out on the opportunity to get a really good character, right? One that I really wanted. So what you need to do is, is you order it, um, and then you know that whatever's at the top is the stuff that you want the most, right? Um, of course, just having it in general is helpful anyway, because then at least you've got a list to look at. Um, it is really good, and what it avoids is things like this happening. When you don't have a list, you end up looking through hundreds of pages of someone's harem just to find out what you want from them, because that takes a long time. Um, and especially later on, you probably will have hundreds of pages of OM, and for other people to look through it for trades, that's kind of kind of difficult, um, especially for you. Um, you don't want to be doing that. So if you make yourself a like list, it's suddenly a lot simpler. And personally, I use my soul list for this. Um, this is all ordered. Well, I say all. I've ordered 52 pages of it. It's 84 pages big, so still got a long way to go. Perhaps I'll do a video about that at some point. Um, but yeah, that's what I use for mine, um, and it's really good. But like I say, there's a bug with this at the moment. If we do SLO, clearly not showing up. Uh, SLO minus. It's done it, but it doesn't say who orders them. Yeah, it's apparently a problem with the notes. Uh, notes just kind of break it. Uh, it's been reported in the Madei server. I hope they're fixing it. I don't know. It used to work, uh, and then it broke at some point. So yeah, I don't know what the problem is, um, obviously, but hopefully it'll be fixed. But yes, anyway, this uh, this is, uh, again, very helpful if you've got a big list. It's basically the same as like list, um, although my soul list is a fair bit bigger than my like list. Um, however, this takes a lot of effort, um, especially if you do want to order them, it really does. This is why I've not ordered all of my solis, because it takes a lot of effort. Um, and even if you don't want to order it, you've got to be looking out constantly for characters that are not on there and trying to add them, um, and then, you know, perhaps ordering them as well. And it, it takes time, um, and a lot of people don't, a lot of people don't have good ones, and then, you know, what they end up doing is this, right? If we uh, look at this particular person's... Uh, like list we can see how big it is here we go two pages that's not really going to be helping you much is it two pages so you see the problem however there is something you can do to get around this and that is with anti-disable lists now let's see your anti-disable list for a second now i'm mine's private so i'm just gonna unprivate it because last time i tried this we got uh, this in dms and it is thick so yeah, um, yeah. Let's let's have a look at my anti-disabled list we got here. Uh, it's it's a really big one. Um, most of these aren't disabled originally, so it's not a problem. Um, but yeah, I've made sure that everything that I could want to claim is on this list. Even stuff for high ranks, like I've not seen this, and I've not seen this, and I've not seen like. Uh, this and whatever right there's a couple of things on there I haven't seen I've put them on there uh, just because I might want to claim them you know I don't want at any point to disable them right so the point of this is simply that you know whatever I put on my disable list this stuff won't be disabled 
And that's generally the idea. And then I copy and paste this onto all of my servers. I think it's a smart idea. It's probably not, but whatever. You can do whatever you like. But the chances are you have an anti-disable list of some description, right? And your anti-disable list is probably going to be a fair bit bigger than your like list, right? Um, and if you've done it right, it will show all the series that you want, right? Not necessarily just the ones that are high ranked or the ones that someone owns or whatever, but the series that you actually want to be able to roll, right? And hence, claim. Now, this is pretty useful because while you can't do things like this, obviously, oh yeah, let, let's check who owns the, the stuff on there. No, not going to happen. It shows series. However, that's not always true. If we just flip over to game mode 2, do I have an anti disable list in game mode 2? I actually don't. Um, but the whole point of this is some the transaction I was just taking with the not big surprise is that he now has one on here. And we can check this. There you go. Actual characters, not series, characters, right? Now, this is helpful because you can do the same stuff on it that you can with like list and soul list. And this is, as you can see, generally a lot bigger. So uh, let's see, for example, with, with the O category. Oh, yeah. And we've got, yeah, I've owned a couple, he owns uh, a couple, and there's O master there, you know, whatever else. Um, we can do O minus on it. Now, this one's a bit finicky um, because as opposed to the like list, when targeting someone else, you see this is showing stuff that I do not own. Uh, whereas if we do uh, like list O minus, it shows stuff that he does not own. Uh, so that's a bit of an inconsistent. I've reported that bug on the server. We'll see what happens with it. But at any rate, you can you can see what's going on here, um, and you can do things like uh, like maybe with a plus. Um, this is all stuff that I own from his disable list, right? So this is all stuff that I potentially could trade with him, right? Right? I, I've got Akko. And he has clearly seen or oh, I know Saraf. I could trade that. I mean, who knows? You can do things like order it by rank as well. Here we go. Oh wait, uh, I didn't actually put his thing in. There we go. So now we can see the high rank stuff that I can trade with him. Plausibly. Right? Uh, this is pretty helpful, I think, um, in, in trading. Um, you can use it for wishing as well, obviously, exactly the same. Let me just uh, flip over to a server where I do have an empty disable list in game mode 2, that'll be on here. Um, so we can look at my one. Uh, let's see, what have I not got on here? Mm, that stuff, apparently. Uh, no, that's probably all male stuff. Um, oh no, it's not all, is it? So perhaps there's a couple of things to claim on here. Oh no, probably all female stuff, my bad, the other way around. This is my male, so... Right, yeah, whatever. Um, so if I do, like, uh, male and you, there's probably very little on there. There you go, eight pages. So that's stuff that probably I'll be wishing for at some point, because I've already got all my you know, my, my like list. Now if we go on there. Okay, I don't have Hank Anderson because he's a game character and I don't roll game. But you get the point. Um, I've probably got uh, all of my soul list as well. Oh no, there's a couple I'm missing. Yeah, like Pokemon and stuff. Don't really care. There you go. It makes sense. Um, but the anti-disable list is a lot bigger. And so you can see there's a few things here that I might want, you know? Uh, Harry Potter characters and uh, Cells at Work. There's even a Steinsgate one. I'll definitely be wishing them at some point, you know? Stuff like that, right? So now I know what I want, right? I think that's pretty helpful. Um, and it's a bit of a shortcut if you can't be bothered to make a like list or a soul list, which to be fair is reasonable because they, they take a lot of effort. Um, using an anti disable list for this is pretty good. Remember though, you do need to be on game mode 2. If for some reason it only works on game mode 2. Um, and also consider that game mode 1 and game mode 2 anti disable lists are different. So if you just switch your server over to game mode 2, you are going to need to rewrite out your disable list. So this is why it's good to have it written down somewhere, because then you can just copy paste it. Otherwise, it's a bit of a hassle to get them all off this uh, original list over here. Go up here. Uh, it's a bit of a hassle to get them all off here right? You're just going to have to copy and paste every single one individually. That's going to take a while, right? That's why we use the copy-paste. But that, that that's up to you. Anyway, of course, if your server is already on game mode 2, then no problem. You've already got it. Um, but yeah, that's all I want to talk about today. I think it's... Um,
a, a nice little shortcut for you. Um, it, it's not going to show everything perfectly, but as long as you order it by rank, you know, you'll you'll get a pretty good representation of of who owns what, what to wish for, what to trade for, etc. Right? Of uh, of the stuff that you want. So there you go. Anyway, I shall leave this one here. Bye.